Let's talk about the new intra-Africa trade deal, better known as EFCFTA, clocks exactly two months today after its takeoff of trading on New Year's Day 2021. But how are Nigerian banks supporting local companies in their quest to benefit from the new trade deal? Last Friday, I spoke with the CEO of EcoBank Nigeria, Patrick Akimota, on what his bank is doing in this regard. Uh, as you know, year 2020 was a difficult year globally, uh, but Nigeria showed its resilience. Uh, the fact that we have 200 million people, uh, the fact that we're the largest economy in Africa, uh, showed in the outcomes. Uh, the last quarter showed a positive GDP. But 2021 actually provides a much more exciting opportunity because all economies, particularly within Africa, are basically all starting from the deep of 2020. And what we should be looking at now is talking to the strengths of the Nigerian economy. Quite often, uh, we tend to uh, follow a global discourse, but we should really create the Nigeria discourse. What is the unique opportunity in Nigeria? Our demography is fantastic. Uh, more than 50% are less than 30 years old. We are very, very uh, boarding entrepreneurs. Uh, we've shown capability. We saw it in the creative industry where Nollywood basically took on the world. We defined our own creative. In the agri space, we decided that we want to achieve source efficiency. And we've seen the progress made with rice. I mean, go anywhere in Africa. I mean, I work uh, for an institution that is present all across Africa. Uh, uh, when you go across Africa, offer the rice of Nigeria is becoming standard delicacy across Africa. So it's not just self-sufficiency. We're also moving into the export space. Nigeria, we should define our export capabilities. Sesame seed, which we should be the world leader. Share butter, which we should be the world leader. Be it from Niger State up and down into Oyo State and up north, this area which today, all that is talked about in this area is about banditry. But it has the best location for sheer butter. I mean, I grew up around there and I know, I have also lived in Ghana. Ghana is promoting sheer butter. You look at it from the benefits for use for cosmetics, for good health, for body care. A country of 200 million people within 1.2 billion Africans, we should lead in body care. So we should promote our share butter, cashew nuts. We should be world best in cashew nuts. We should promote cocoa. Yes, we gave space to Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana. We should reclaim our leadership in this area. This is what we must do this year. And this is what the banking industry, this is what EcoBank has been do doing. This is what the governor of the central bank has been preaching. We should look at where we have strengths then galvanize both international investment in Nigeria, which ensures that we keep our jobs, we get to engage our people. The more people are employed, the less the insecurity that has been talked about. Those are outcomes. We should look at the fundamentals and promote what is strong about Nigeria. Excellent intellectual capacity, willingness to go the extra mile. Nigerians are lovely people in terms of ability to accommodate other cultures. So we should refocus, promote what is strong about Nigeria, dive, galvanize all investments into that, which is what the banking industry is talking about, which is what brought us out of recession in the last quarter, which is what EcoBank is promoting in the Continental Free Trade Agreement, why we raised $300 million from the global markets to begin to promote Nigerian Pan-African multinationals, connecting you across Africa, instant payments, fast trade, employment in Africa.